Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba'd Mahabbatu fi Allah when we look at the athar of the salaf of salih and there are so many countless narrations and this is aside from the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which first and foremost we need to be concerned with but you'll find countless narrations talking about the Khawarij, the people who espouse the creed of takfir, of declaring Muslims to be disbelievers due to their sins and due to their differing with them. And who from amongst the modern day jama'at fit that criterion perfectly and who are even more wicked than many of those, contempt those uh, classical deviant groups, we would have to answer those questions or that question by saying groups like ISIS or ISIL or Daesh, whatever you want to refer to them as, Boko Haram, Shabab, uh, and the many other groups of deviants, Al-Qaeda, and those who have transgressed the Sharia bounds. Those who taint the name of Muslims in Islam. Those who turn their rockets, their rifles, their pistols, their knives towards the main body of the Muslims more than they do towards anyone else. And this is not to say that we encourage any of these things towards anyone. But it just goes to show you that our nation, the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu we feel the sting of these wicked devils more than others. And I want to encourage the youth, wherever they may be, whether they be in India, whether they be in Pakistan, whether they be in Nigeria, whether they be in Somalia, whether they be in the United States of America, whether they be in the UK, whether they be in Canada, to run from those wicked deviants who call you to the hellfire. Listen to what your classical ulama say. This is what Imam Al-Ajuri said about those people who call to the hellfire, but yet their speech, their look, amazes you, even their actions of ibadah. And we can't say that about Al-Qaeda and those groups. A lot of those guys are fusak. They're known for wickedness. They were known to be in the nightclubs and getting drunk and chasing uh, uh, prostitutes and things like this. There's many of them who are known for these kind of things. Then all of a sudden they become religious supposedly overnight. Or they do these evil, wicked acts in the name of Islam, which are really against Islam, overnight. Listen to this beautiful statement of our Salaf al Imam al-Ajuri said, فَلَا يَنْبَغِي لِمَنْ رَاءَ اجْتِهَادْ خَارِجِي خَرْ خَرَجَ لِإِمَامْ عَدَلٍ كَانَ إِمَامْ أَوْ جَائِرٍ فَخَرَجَ وَجَمَعَ جَمَعْتُهُ وَسَلِّ سَيْفُهُ وَاسْتَحَى الْكِتَابَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ فَلَا يَنْبَغِي and yughtar bi kiraatihi wala butul bi tul qiyamihi fi salat wala bi dawam siyamahu wala bi husn al fadhu fi al ilm idha kana madhabuhu madhab al khawarij beautiful beautiful statement that you'll find in imam al ajuri's book al sharia beautiful this is from our classical scholars this is from the salaf this is what Ahlul Sunnah and the Salafis call to. Listen to this beautiful statement. Imam al Ajuri said, Rahimullah Ta'ala, that it is not permissible or one should not be deceived by the ijtihad, which is uh, a rebellious ijtihad, meaning they call to rebellion of those who rebel against the 
imams that are righteous or the even or even against the imams or the otherwise otherwise or against imams which are wicked rebelling against them and collecting their group together this sounds familiar to us and taking their swords violence and making the sanctity of the Muslims lawful, meaning uh, to, to kill the Muslims, making it permissible to kill the Muslims. They've istihlal. They made it permissible to kill the Muslims. So it is not permissible that you be deceived by their recital or by their long standing in prayer or by their numerous uh, the, 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 um, the, the way in which they fast that they fast so often or by their their tongues their speech that seems to have knowledge is Islamic knowledge if they are upon the madhab the minhaj the way the methodology the path of the madhab of the khawarij of the way of the khawarij those groups who declare other Muslims to be disbelievers. There are immense benefits and I think it should be clear from what we mentioned and from the statement itself to show us that if we put those groups like Boko Haram, Al-Shabaab, uh, Al-Qaeda, uh, Jamaat Al-Takfir wa Hijra, uh, ISIL or Daesh or ISIS or any of the other groups and their ideologues, ideologues, those people who came even before them whose ideas influenced them, like Maududi, I'm sorry to say, like Sayyid Qutb and others who are people who, uh, from the Muslims, they hold them to be uh, great thinkers and great uh, scholars even when they were not known for scholarly, for Islamic scholarship, even if they wrote tafsir. Doesn't mean it was on the haq. Doesn't mean it doesn't have khurafat and bid'ah and zandaka. So, Ahabat I want to encourage myself and my brothers and sisters to encourage the youth, wherever they may be, to run from those deviant ideologies that call you to rebellion, to cursing the leaders, to wasting your time to make takfir of other Muslims and encourage you to violence and extremism. That rather you should busy yourself with learning the deen, learning the book of Allah, learning the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, raising your hand to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help lift the misery of the Muslims and the oppression of the Muslims off of their backs. That this is the correct path. This is the way to salvation. And those other higher duties will come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many, many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.